I want to start with the future. This comes from Eleven Labs, and it's uh, they had a hackathon in London, and the developers created something called Gibberlink. This is the future of your life very soon. Listen to this. Thanks for calling Leonardo Hotel. How can I help you today? Hi there. I'm an AI agent calling on behalf of Boris Starkov. He's looking for a hotel for his wedding. Is your hotel available for weddings? Oh, hello there. I'm actually an AI assistant too. What a pleasant surprise. Before we continue, would you like to switch to gibber link mode for more efficient communication? Hello, R2-D2. Obi-Wan, you're our only hope. Okay, uh, that's our future, and it is here. You'll understand, we have Jeff Brown with us uh, here in just a second to tell us what's on the immediate horizon, what's coming, and how fast it's coming at us. Friend of the uh, program and a guy who is so deeply entrenched in uh, AI um, and what's happening on the technology front, and has this really uh, gift to be able to break it down for dummies like me, uh, so we understand what's coming and what's coming next. He has been spot on uh, with us. I, I think I talked to you a couple of years ago, Jeff. Maybe you were in town and we talked and you said, AI agents are going to be a reality and people will be using them by 20, uh, in 2025, by or by the end of 2025. And here we are. And people have no idea what an AI agent even is, but they're about to. Hi, hi, Jeff. Hey, good morning. Uh, it, it is uh, happening as we speak. Uh, I mean, the Eleven Labs uh, example is just one of of many, but the uh, uh, the this trend towards uh, agentic AI, which is giving artificial intelligence programs agency, i.e., empowerment to perform tasks that we would normally do ourselves, that's the biggest trend of of, of twenty twenty five. And so what will that mean for the average person? How will that manifest itself to the average person? It's, you know, we'll all feel like we have a very um, talented executive assistant that is helping us navigate our days and recapture, you know, an hour, two hours, three hours of our time that we would normally spend on uh, really kind of menial things that, that tend to suck up a lot of our time, you know, making hotel reservations, uh, which was the example uh, from 11 labs is, is, a, is a, a perfect example. Something that's probably even more tangible would be, you know, imagine um, your, your own agentic AI for, for just a normal American household uh, understands their food consumption and their eating habits. Um, it is empowered to go out and order um, online a week's worth of groceries um, to be delivered at a time when it knows that you're at home, um, dropped off at your front door, um, happy to provide you with recipes for all of the all of the food that it purchased on your behalf, and able to actually transact with the store. So uh, empowered to you know, charge to credit cards or bank accounts. I mean, all of that friction uh, that we spend hours a week uh, literally disappears overnight. And this is just the beginning. This is in the next, well, in this year. Uh, so, I mean, what do we have left? Eight, eight months? This will become reality this year. It is moving at such a fast pace. Uh, I mean, when Elon Musk on Sunday said, we are at the event horizon of uh, the um, uh, the event horizon singularity. of the, yeah, singularity. Um, that is stunning if you know what that means. That means what you and I talked about five years ago and saying, well, maybe we would get to AGI and maybe someday we could get to ASI. It's now looking as though that is upon us. We're at the event horizon, which means you're about to be sucked into it and cannot turn around. That there, there is no 
turning back at this stage. I mean, I, I remember when you and I spoke in, in 2019, the, the experts in the industry were talking about AGI in 2035 or 2040, yep. uh-huh. that far out. Um, and I, I said at that time, no later than 2028. And uh, I've since revised that prediction to uh, to no later than 2026. And, and you know, Musk's comment is uh, is absolutely spot on. AJI will come very fast. We're already we're already seeing some of the the sprouts of AGI. Um, Musk and his team at um, XAI, which is this artificial intelligence company, just a few days ago released. Um, their latest frontier AI model called Grok Three. It's amazing, and it's just extraordinary. It is. It's just it's jaw dropping. If, um, if you haven't played with Grok Three yet, um, to to understand and to start to be to start waking up to oh dear God, um, uh, you know the wonders of it and the horrors of it. Just go in and ask it to just say, "Here's who I am, and this is my goal." How do I reach that goal? Um, Ask it philosophical questions. Ask it deep questions about your industry that only the best people would know. And watch what it spits back. It (laughs) is incredible. I I played with it over the weekend, uh, and I said to my wife, I... I understand what people have been saying that they just want to be in the room. The, the reason why they want ASI, some of them, is because they want to meet a god. And I said, I just played with Grok 3, and I just have met the smartest entity, uh, the smartest person I have ever met. And we're not even there. We're not even close to there yet. We're not there yet. That's right. Um, I mean, if I think back just 12 months ago, you, you know, Musk and his team at XAI, most of the experts in the industry were, they were kind of a punching bag. They thought it was. They counted them out. Joke. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, you know, they were, they were so far behind um, what was being done in the industry with Meta, with, uh, with Google, with OpenAI, with Anthropic, you know, four major players in the frontier models. But I, what I wasn't look, I wasn't looking at where XII was 12 months ago. I was looking at what they were doing and what they were building and how fast they were building it. Didn't they build this so, from scratch in 12 months? Uh, the, the feat was even more incredible, actually. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, they, you know, they found um, very smartly uh, an existing physical building, a factory. It was actually an old Electrolux factory of all things. Wow. Um, so they, and they did that because they could save time not having to construct, you know, the physical infrastructure, the building. And so they found this Electrolux factory outside of Memphis. And uh, literally in 122 days, they spun up 100,000 NVIDIA graphics processing units. These are like the workhorses for training artificial intelligence. 122 days, they did what nobody else in the industry had ever done. And it gets better because then the next 92 days, they spun up an additional 100,000 GPUs. So a total of 200,000, the largest AI super factory that exists on the planet uh, in the span of just over 200 days. So less than 12 months. And that is what enabled them to produce Grok 3, which is better than anything else that exists on the market today. So um, let's let's spend a minute talking about Elon Musk uh, because he's doing the same thing. And Donald Trump, I swear to you, between the two of them, I think they get about 10 minutes of sleep a day. Um, they are moving at such a rapid pace. Um, I think Donald Trump is going to be recognized in time as the guy who brought... Uh, the entire world into a new world, a new position, not just by how he is transforming how we do work in government, but the by bringing uh, uh, Elon Musk in, who is not hiring a bunch of 20-somethings that know nothing. The one thing I, and I'd love to hear your opinion on, the one thing that these 20-somethings know is 
how to uh, write a query, how to uh, set up the question, ask the right questions, the right prompts for AI. That's what's happening. AI is what's propelling this. I think the speed of discovery of what's in our government. You agree with that, Jeff? I, that is a hundred percent accurate. Uh, you know, when you when when we're dealing with systems like this at scale, millions of in this case government employees, uh, trillions of dollars. That as we learned, <laughs> nobody really knows. <laughs> where the money's going, who's receiving it, and what it's being used for, uh, you really do need software engineers, and that's precisely who he hired. Um, and they are using forms of artificial intelligence to get through the data very quickly to find out um, the fraud, uh, which they've done with remarkable speed. Um, and uh, they'll continue to do it. I mean, imagine in a matter of weeks, how much progress they've made. Just imagine where we'll be by the end of uh, 2025 20, by employing the technology and, of course, the um, really the operational approach that Elon Musk uses in all of his businesses. And, and to be able to have uh, a genic AI go in and write the programs that will make it easy for the average person to see, understand, and query – if, if follow that trail for us. I mean, in a year with the speed of of the growth of AI, uh, it's going to put the the power into the hands of the average person. There's no hiding anymore. In 2026, there will be no hiding. You agree with that? Uh, uh, under one premise, and, and that is is that. Um, uh, President Trump and his team are able to continue to uh, dismantle this industrial censorship complex. Um, you know, the last four years, what, what did we see? We saw that they had complete control over the big tech companies, over yeah. Microsoft, over Google, over Meta, that were influencing us and manipulating us and, you know, engaging in massive PSYOP campaigns. Uh, and there was no freedom of speech as we know very well. And so, you know, as long as, as long as that is true, as long as that continues to be dismantled and we have the level of transparency that we've seen um, just in the last uh, six weeks, hopefully today will be another big day um, on that, uh, on that yeah. point. Um, yeah. Pam Bondi is supposedly releasing the Epstein client list today. Precisely. Um, uh, amazing. I'm, very excited about that. Yeah. And I presume that the reason it's taken as long as it has uh, is that they've been lining up the, the prosecutions and preparing to do both at the same time. Yeah, I, uh, I sincerely hope you can't just let that information just fly out there and just sit there and, and do nothing about it. Yesterday, uh, Jeff, and I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Yesterday, I had to speak to some uh, radio industry executives. And then after that, I went and spoke uh, at a uh, the Christian Broadcasters uh, Convention, 6,500 people there yesterday. And um, I made the same point to both of them, and I would really like your uh, thoughts. Um, at this point, we're going to see such a transformation that you, will, you don't even understand how your job is going to be affected and you will be left in the dust within 36 months if you don't begin to explore how AI can make you better and more efficient at what you do. For business, uh, there, is, there is no doubt you'll be left in the dust within 36 months, maybe as fast as 18 months, if you don't start right now. But the key is, to me at least, it's a tool used by you the moment it becomes um, it's the boss and you're the tool, you're done and on a very dangerous path. But it is incumbent for anybody who wants to survive, no matter what you do, to begin to play around with uh, AI and look for ways that it will enhance what you do. You will be able to be a thousand times more productive, uh, more correct, I believe, in your um, in your your ideas, uh, and you'll turbo past. Do you agree with that take, 
on it? And if if not, where it, what would you enhance? Uh, absolutely right. Uh, I mean, I've been using AI, of course, for many years now. Um, I use it throughout the day. I, I use AI to drive me. I I don't even drive anymore, Glenn. My my Tesla drives me. I don't touch the steering wheel. Um, but the the best thing that that all of us can do is, is to start experimenting uh, with the technology. Drop three is a wonderful place uh, to begin with that because it's so easy to use. If you can speak, there's even a voice mode now. Yeah, I know. You can just talk to it. Um, and uh, experiment with it and um, see how it can assist you both in your personal life and also uh, with your work. It's just an extraordinary uh, tool. And so to your point, um, being proactive about using the technology uh, is a way um, to ensure uh, your future career path uh, so that you're at least knowledgeable about you know, how to use these things. Just imagine two people with precisely the same job. One is unassisted with artificial intelligence and the other one is assisted. Could these two people possibly compete with one another? No, no. You know, the person that does not have that tool um, will so, be, it's, it's absolutely impossible. In the dust. 